The world champion is white, and it says Mr. G. A. Thomas is black. Wait, Lasker is white? Yes, Lasker is white. Is correct. Okay. And we have, anybody know what the name of this? Dutch. The Dutch Defense. As Mick likes to call it, he's a Dutch buster. He loves to play against the Dutch, and he likes to play the Dutch. It's a very dangerous, but if you know what you're doing, the problem is, see this queen's going to come up and say check to the king right away. You're opening up this line for a check. But, in it, but if you know how to play it, it's all right, but you really, really, really have to be very careful. <coughs> e4, pawn takes. Now, if you were to say check, you can just come here. And if the queen comes here to attack the rook, the knight out. And basically what's happening is you're giving a black a chance to develop his pieces while you're just giving him simple little silly checks. So it really doesn't help. Knight c3 to attack the pawn. <coughs> Knight f6, guarding the pawn and taking away the check square from the queen. Bishop out to attack this, because basically right now, black's only star piece is this knight, and you're willing to give up the bishop, not only double, get the pawns off, is just is taking away any protection for the king right now. Actually creating this pin, but the reason he wants to do that is get the bishop out so he can castle right away. Yes, so he gets his pawn back, right? Because the knight could take the knight, but then you're going to lose the queen, right? So you can't really take it back. <coughs> Bishop to e7. Bishop takes knight. Bishop takes bishop. And developing and Two knights are coming to this king side. This already looks a little dangerous for black. Wait. I might start thinking about castling on the other side. Well, yeah, you could do that, but then you allow the queen to be developed. I'm not so sure that that's a great move. Well, black decides to get out of dodge and castle. All right, let's see why. A6 to prevent, let's see. I'm not sure what this is preventing. I think that might be a wasted move. Oh, it's n not ASIC. This is, makes much more sense. Bishop's going to be developed. That's what it is. Okay. Knight in, saying, it's okay. You want to give up your bishop for my knight? It's okay with me. This is a very lovely bishop on that light square diagonal. Okay, so now he's setting up a kind of discovered checkmate. Knight takes bishop, check. Even if the rook or the queen take back the knight, the, the queen can come here because it will be protected by the bishop once the knight moves away. So he's setting up a real cute little check over there. Queen up. Ah, look at what, yes. That's exactly right. Very good. Queen takes, check first. Sacrifice. Here's another queen sack. King takes. King takes. Double. Knight takes bishop, double check. You're che being checked by the knight. And so it's a double discovered check. So you've got a bishop for a queen. It's four for 10. You're only down six points now, right? Uh, let's see what happens. If he goes back here, knight here is a fork and you win the queen back, so he can't go there. Can't go here because of the knight. He can't go here because of the knight. So this is his only move. This knight says check. No. That's his uh, only move, I think. Saving grace. No, not really. H4. Wait, but 
H4 is a check. Boy, when your king is your most advanced piece and the rest of the army is back home watching television, you're in trouble. Unless it's the end game. Yes. Why wouldn't you just take that pawn? Because Here? The rook. Oh, I couldn't see from here. Okay. So, <clears throat> king to F4. Uh oh, another check. His only move. Okay, bishop e2 check. Correct. And then His only move. Rook h2 check, guarded by the knight. His only move. <laughs> and now the checkmate. Now he could have done it. He could have done it. He could have castled and checkmated him. But he just moved the king away and checkmated him. But you're right, he could have castled and done the same thing. That is without a doubt the most advanced king I've ever seen. All the way from the... So the world champion won? Yes, the world champion won. And he, well, he's supposed to, he's the world champion, right? But he did sacri he sacrificed his queen, but every single one of these pieces, one, two, three, four, even that one with the checkmate, five, and the king even got into the act. And you could even and say the pawn did three so pawns. He wanted to hug the bishop and the pawn. Basically what you had is you had all seven pieces working and these three guys really never got a chance. They were just so it was like seven to four. Eating chips and having a party. That's it. Which you can do, but you're going to lose your chess game if you have, you know, eat chips and have a party instead of develop your pieces. Yeah. You've got to get your pieces out, guys. If you don't get your pieces yeah. out, you're in trouble. Okay, we'll do one more, and then we'll get ready for our tournament. Okay, so that was that's how world champions work. Queen sacrifices all the time. <laughs> all right, 1945, California. Mr. Essen versus Mr. Duff. It looks like California Championship, 1945. Not too long ago. <clears throat> E4, E5. Great opening sequence for both white and black. Ah, and now we have d4. Anybody know what the, uh, uh, this is called a center game. Again. Pawn takes, queen takes. So let's take a look. Sure enough, pawn takes, queen takes. Again. All right. Knight to c6. Yes. Knight to c6, gaining a tempo on the queen. And the queen comes back to e3. Pawn to b6. Looks like the bishop will come here, get fianchettoed, work it out this way. Knight to c3. Bishop attacks the queen. Queen over to attack the unguarded pawn. Pawn just pushes itself. Knight in. Uh, he is attacking c7, but it's guarded by the queen. But if he deflects the queen away, maybe he can get in there for a check or something. Oh, one, two, only guarded once. So, yeah, we can take it. Fork, say check. All right, so why not just push the pawn? Yeah, that's what he does. He just pushes the pawn. He just blocks the queen off. That's all. Bishop g5 attacking the queen. And he weakens the king side, but he had to get rid of it. He could take it well, no, no, no. What he does is he's saying, take my bishop, please, and then I'll take your rook. So he put a pin on the pawn. A pin on the pawn. So 
So Black blocks off this, saying, now I can take this because you can't jump over my knight and get my rook. So I'm threatening to take the, right? And also the the well, he says, that's OK. You take my bishop. I'll take your bishop. OK, and the bishop's trapped. So let's see. Pawn takes bishop. And pawn takes bishop. Okay, so it looks like a bishop trade so far. Taking towards the center. Which is the only move. Wait, so doesn't he get an extra pawn? Yeah. For now, but these are doubled. Knight out. He's attacking this once, but it is guarded once. I think he's trying to come out here, say check, and then castle. I think he wants to castle his king. He certainly can't castle this side. There's no protection left. C to um, C7 to C6. Blocking. Here, now what he's saying is, you still can't take my rook because I'll take your queen. <coughs> Wait, can um. Well, I think he's also guarding this with the knight too. Yeah, but okay so he took care of that threat with that so knight takes knight pawn and he takes anyway so if he takes with the knight he'll lose the rook and if he takes with the queen, he gets forked and loses that rook. So it doesn't really matter. It's, he can't take this knight unless he wants to get a knight and a pawn for a rook, which is not quite enough. It's four for five, and it, it's just not close enough. It's actually only three for five because... Uh, You're going to get back the pawn again? All right. So after knight takes pawn, knight out, I guess he's going to castle. That's the only thing I can think of. Why can't queen take the rook? Queen can't take the rook? Not the knight will take the queen, right? OK. So sure enough, right, check. That's what he needed. He needed a tempo. So we'll just block the check. And now the knight comes in to attack the queen because the bishop can't take it because it's absolutely pinned to the king. So he gets another tempo with the queen has to move. And also he wins a rook. Queen moves away. Yes, but he, he has bigger fish to fry. He's going to come here and say checkmate, guarded by the knight. This is going to be a checkmate right away. So he's got bigger problems. Knight g8, knight g8 guards the checkmate score and attacks the queen. queen. The queen still can't take because it's still guarded. Uh -huh. It's funny when you undevelop your pieces. Oh. You I would knight, 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 knight. Well, <coughs> see if you can see mate in two. For white. Oh, that's easy. Queen e7 for white. Yes. Queen e7, check. Knight takes e7, check. Knight is the only move that he's got. And knight f6, mate. And you get checkmated with two knights. Hello. The knights are facing off. You have the four knights. Four knights. Isn't that wild? Yeah, that's pretty wild. That's really nice. That's very nice. It's crazy. Chess is a crazy game. Okay. The more you study, the more you learn, the more you'll see. It's a crazy game. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Thanks.